In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can record your name in a feature called Name Coach, which is part of Canvas. It allows each and every one of us to uh, record our names as we pronounce them so that others may hear that within the system and properly pronounce our names, which is nice to hear and obviously respectful to each other. So I'm just going to go over to Canvas now. I'm already in the My Loyalist portal, as you can see, and I'm going to click on the Canvas link which will take me to my Canvas homepage. So yours will look something like this, but of course, your courses won't be the same as mine. And as well as a teacher, it might look slightly different, but I believe more the same than different. Okay, so you can pick, I would say just pick our course, Computer Essentials. And once you land on there, you're going to see this middle column with various links. One of the links is in fact called Name Coach Name Recordings. So we're going to click on that link and go there. Now, I've already done mine once, so mine simply asks me if I wish to update. Yours might just say record, but at any rate, this is where you would record it. Now, since I have already recorded mine, I can click the playback button right here. Daniel Wallet, And you get to hear it, you get to play it back, you get to re-record it, and you can record it as often as you wish. You can replace it. So I'm going to do that now with the update button. Down below here, uh, because I'm a teacher, I get a list of the recorded names. I'm not sure as a student how that will work for you if you get your classmates or not. I would hope so, so that you can learn to pronounce each other's name properly if that's the case. But at the very least, let's click on update so that we can do a new recording. So what you'll get is this little window right here. And there are really two ways to generate the voice recording. One is to do it directly through what's called the web recorder, which is the default. The other is to pre-record it, save an audio file, put it on your computer somewhere, and then upload it later once it's created through this button. We're going to use the web recorder method. So of course it's going to rely on you having a microphone either built into the computer or attached to the computer. Down in this middle area is really where we do the recording. There is the record button. Down here, once I record and I'm happy with the results, I hit submit. So let's try that now. I'm going to hit the record button. I believe there's a three second countdown. Oh, up here, actually, you need to give permission for it to use the microphone in your computer. And that's a security feature. So I'm going to say and suggest allow this time. And now it's going to start the countdown. Three. Daniel Wallet. And then you click the stop button. I didn't want to say so until I hit stop, of course. Now you can listen to it before submitting. So you hit the play button. Daniel Wallet. And if you don't like that, you can record again. So I'm going to try one more take at it. Record again. Hit record. Daniel Wallet. Then hit stop. I would suggest saving like a pause of a half second to a second after you've spoken and then hit the stop button. So let's listen to that one more time. Daniel Wallet. I actually do like it better. It was just... Uh, a little easier to understand, maybe because I didn't say it so loudly. At any rate, I'm happy with that one. So all I have to do now is hit submit. And there we go. So if I want to hear it again, I can click the playback button here. Daniel Wallet. And that is how you can record your name into the system, into Canvas, into the feature called Name Coach. And I'm going to ask each and every one of you to do that as part of your assignment.